there is uh, something like a misunderstanding. The internet is just a simple system which is connecting people. And in the end, <laughs> it's the people who make the system and not the internet. The only thing what we have is just a new form of connecting people. And now we are trying to figure out what this will do with society, what this will do with business. And you had to put up some absolutely right thesis about what is going on in business. I think we have to think what is going on in politics, for example, because this is just detected now. But in the end, it's not a question of the Internet. I'm always a little bit fascinated that people try to ask whether the Internet is bad or good or whatsoever. This is not the question at all. Suppose I were to take the word just out of your statement, that it's just yeah. a, a, new, a new way of connecting people, and said it's a new way of connecting people. Okay, um, that's it. Hmm. That then brings back exactly the sort of things you're trying to rule out. That is the question yeah. of whether we can talk about the technology itself of the internet, relatively hmm. independent of the culture that hmm. uh, embraces it, and ask whether there's anything about the technology itself that helps determine the cultural reaction. Um, this is the, the techno-determinism argument, mm. which I think is a very serious one. And I, I've rightly been, in, in my writings, I've been rightly mm. accused of that, uh, writing as if the Internet has an effect on us, regardless of who we are, and, mm. which mm. is a, a good uh, criticism of my approach. Mm -hmm. um, nevertheless, I think that it is a reasonable question to ask, within, particularly within a culture, mm -hmm. maybe across cultures. Mm -hmm. um, we have... We'll, Will this technology itself have a predictable, or at least an effect that mm -hmm. we can we can see going mm -hmm. through the culture? This was what what I was first interested in. Just saying, hey, it's not the matter of content. What is typical for the system? What can we uh, predict that the system is doing? And at the first point, I said, hey, we have enhanced connectivity. We have far more people connecting, and we have this strange thing with these. Uh, um, impulses which are still in the system just by retweet or by um, uh, I like it button. So we have three conditions to make sure that this system will create upspeeding effects. Uh -huh. So there are yep. some things in the system which um, changes the communication. There is a shift because it's no longer of interest who is um, providing something, it's of interest who is receiving and who is starting to get active because he is receiving something. So there are some basic rules we can already say which are typical for this system, just because of the way it's constructed, because of the architecture. Uh, but what, is, what this system yep. is doing in the culture is a totally different question. Um, well, I don't think it's a totally different question. So I would add to your list of affordances, things that the software enables us to do that yeah. should matter, should have some effect on the individual and the culture. Um, the presence of hyperlinks yeah, sure. and mm -hmm. the fact that material stays on the internet mm -hmm. until it rots and it'll be for a long, yeah. long time yeah. and that mm -hmm. gives a sort of, it's not memory mm -hmm. exactly, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's there, uh, as well as some uh, as other things. But uh, um, I, so I would not go so far as to say that we are able to predict mm -hmm. what will happen in a culture because of the internet, but I think we can read backwards with some legitimacy and mm -hmm. say, Oh, you know, the way that news or government or politics has changed? Yeah, I can see how the Internet had an effect there. It's too complex to predict forward. Culture is yeah, too okay. complex, mm -hmm. and this technology mm -hmm. is very mm -hmm. complex. Mm -hmm. But going backwards, mm -hmm. we can look at what's been happening in politics, for example, and say, oh, yeah, okay, so that's in part, it's because, etc. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But isn't it sometimes the case that we have effects there? which are just correlating with the fact that the internet always is, the, uh, this is always a problem. Right? Yes. And we tend to do causal relationships. Yes. And if you look, for example, at all these democratization things happening now, it's the possibility of the internet which is make this, making this more possible. But in the end, I think there is a big frustration of people which is uh, not created by the internet, but created by the cultures the people were living in. Oh, and now the internet absolutely. is just a tool for this. But so a, suppose I took out the just from your... Oh, it's just a <laughs> tool. It. Yeah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's just a tool. It's um, a good tool and it's a, a so, very new uh, one. Yeah. First of all, I'm not sure that it's just... Uh, that, that, yeah. it's, that we should understand it uh, primarily as a tool. So, mm -hmm. I, I, But I don't... The main thing I want to say is I don't know how to answer this question. And in part, 
I don't think um, our culture knows how to answer this question. And no. I think it's because we don't have a theory of politics or of communication or of change that is adequate to understanding mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So in the case of, for example, Arab Spring, I'm not an expert in, in, in Middle Eastern affairs, so I'm not entitled right. to an opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've read various, I, I've been watching the explanations. Mm -hmm. um, and there are those who deny the internet had any effect Malcolm Gladwell is the famous example of this in the United States. He says, yeah. Yes, he's been oh. very controversial on this issue. Mm -hmm. um, and there are, are those who have reported, I, I, I'm sure there are people who actually said this was because of the internet. It's hard to find anybody who actually believes mm -hmm. that. Um, but where in the middle it, it, it is, is uh, very hard for us to figure out. And one of the things that I'm, one of the explanations that I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. but that's because I'm an optimist about the internet, mm -hmm. um, is that, yes, it was a tool that enabled people to gather and organize and to mm -hmm. enable a, far more easily, a leaderless revolution. Mm -hmm. um, because we are the medium, we, we mm -hmm. are passing things around. But that in addition, the, uh, the, a culture that experiences the internet almost inevitably Mm -hmm. experiences it as a realm of at least relative freedom. Even if they're being That's watched right. by the government, they mm -hmm. still have a sense that yep. they have a voice, every citizen yep. has a voice, it's not just you know, the government mm -hmm. or the media, mm -hmm. um, that they can create links and mm -hmm. pass information off to one mm -hmm. another, that they are the best source of mm -hmm. uh, reference and uh, suggestion and, and recommendation, and that this is a type of empowering that who knows how much an effect it has, mm -hmm. but should be maybe a contributory cause mm -hmm. to people who are yearning for freedom anyway? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how we would know that, but it's an appealing theory to me. I thought yeah, from the from the architecture, uh, you can predict that there will be a shift of power in a way, because people can use the net to become powerful beside of mass media and things like this. There is something really changing in the communication style. This is, I think, is true. And if you add in this case this upspeeding effect which is in the system that you can produce mass many people in a very short period of time then you can be sure that it's possible for example to change a situation in the sense of uh, a basic revolution or a basic uh, production of um, uh, yeah of disturbance or even destroying a system but the big question is can we build up the culture with the system afterwards what I'm sure is that it will be more transparency and that people will learn that to have power um, cannot be by rejecting information or something, or by keeping information. All this gatekeeper thing is off when the system is there. For business so it will as well. Be, yeah. yeah, for business as well. Therefore, it will be even something like a learning field. But again, the question is, can we build up complex forms of order via this tool which has the problem with the context? Well, so here, here's a... a uh, it, hopeful example. Um, I, I think it's uh, arguable, it's a supportable yeah. hypothesis that the fastest learning community in the world now are software developers. That they have, because they're software developers, they're able to build their own tools, and so that's it's not an accident, but the tools that they have built enable software developers today as opposed to 20 years ago. And I, you know, I was working in a software company 20 years ago, and these incredibly smart people and a, a community within the, the company that was constantly sharing. If you have a problem, you go to the person next door, you're the local expert. And, um, so it was already a rich and rap, but now the web-based uh, ability, the ability to get answers to any software question, any mm -hmm. problem you're having is amazing because of the set of tools. Mm -hmm. So this is, the, and there is a culture also mm -hmm. of learning in public. When you get an answer, you post it. Mm -hmm. You don't keep it. You everything is made public. You make your code public. Yeah, it, sure. It's an amazing, mm -hmm. remarkable mm -hmm. uh, model, including mm -hmm. heavy elements of collaboration mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cooperation and, uh, and altruism. Mm -hmm. If that model were to spread, then it would be great. It would be great and highly contextualizing <laughs> as well. Yeah, but it is interesting that you mentioned this because if you look at the software part, you have a standardized form of language. If, and it was every time interesting for me that the, mat the mathematicians were the first really to be able for interdisciplinary things. They can work with each other because they have a strong um, standardized language to do this. 
but if we are dealing with normal people, they are not keeping up with a standardized form of communication. Therefore, when you yes. transfer the same thing, for example, to a topic like ethics, where it's highly necessary to have intensive discourse, then it starts to get problems. Uh, so it starts yes, with it does. This, uh, so, I mean, there is still a little to learn from the uh, development community. Yeah. But for one thing, they have a, sh a strong shared culture already, yeah. generally. Yeah. Um, but much of their learning is across programming languages. And mm -hmm. I understand that is a huge difference from yep. learning across cultural boundaries mm -hmm. and actual languages, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a, obviously a big issue as mm -hmm. well. Um, nevertheless, I remain a little hopeful mm -hmm. that it will take much longer, mm -hmm. that we will develop similar sorts of learning environments for one another. Mm -hmm. I'll give you two examples, both of which are somewhat Great. hopeful. Mm -hmm. One is um, learning a new language is mm -hmm. um, much easier now uh, on the web because mm -hmm. of the tools and the ability to find mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. people who are willing to speak to you in their language. Um, and, oh, forget the other, so. <laughs> forget the other, so, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's not no. so that that's not yeah. a great example. Well, okay. Yeah. So if, if you are if you're a traveler and you're mm. going to um, yeah. a tourist and you're going to yeah. another country, it's also yeah. much easier yeah. now to yeah. get local advice and to get warned about local customs. Yeah. Don't you know, yeah. don't eat with your left hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that yeah, sort of cool. cross very. Those are areas in which we know that we have cultural differences, mm -hmm. and because of that, we've been building bridges, mm -hmm. basic informational bridges, very rapidly. It was a need we knew we had. The problem that you're pointing to is where we don't know <laughs> we're at a cultural divide. It just seems so obvious that your sense yeah. of fairness is completely unfair, yeah. mine is right, and we don't even know that there's a bridge between us. Mm -hmm. So the difference in culture you only realize when you're stepping in. Um, if you're lucky, you do. Yeah. And generally, yeah. what mm -hmm. you realize Sometimes is you even don't realize. you're right, they're wrong. How can yeah. they be so stupid? I mean, that's, you know.